saying here is even if you choose to leave, you will want to um, you will want to uh, return again and again. Let's look at this new beginning here. All right, Virgo Pisces, polar opposite signs. Okay, all right, so we just did a whole reading. Okay, so let's see where this new beginning is going. Let's move all this out of the way. Let's see where this is going. All right, let's get a healing card. Let's see. This is Pisces Virgo. All right, so... I feel like I want to take the bottom one. Okay, that's what I was picking up the south. Like Louisiana. Southwest and southeast. All right, now this is for someone. It's like this one has a mark on your soul. All right, now, and you might have even gotten some sort of tattoo or um, what is that? Um, like an engraving or some kind of tribal thing to kind of mark um You know, it's like when people get a haircut and they change their whole life. Okay, something like that. Like when, what, who is that? Oh, you remember when Lenny Kravitz cut off his dreadlocks? Something like that. Okay. All right, but I feel like this, again, we're heading in a new phase. Okay, you might, um, there's going to be fast-moving energy. And it's like, let go of the past so that you can uh, rise high and fly. Okay, and the hummingbirds, 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 okay, and C2, okay, so whether you meant it or not, there's a deep desire to be with, um, partnered, okay. Honor Alegua at Southeast. Okay, so it's like no more secrets. Everything came out in the open. Okay, and um, this is you're like the lotus blossoming. Okay, let's read this one. Forty-three. That's the one I feel like I need to read. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. I have a thing like this on the door. So there, it's like a fascinator, but it's like uh, a door opening. So there's doors opening. Okay, that's the message. And see, this cat on another card is a create, like creating new things. Okay. What is this in your hand? See, that looks like a Capricorn. Okay. But so they could have been holding some sort of if it's a gazelle, it's like moving into fast-moving energy again. Okay, now. Oh, there's some good times and celebrations coming in. So get ready. Get ready for that. Okay, let's read 43. Honor and Ligua at the southeast. The shamanic call to the soul can be masked within a crisis requiring evolution as a problem to be solved and as a creative opportunity all at once. Be in the midst of the muddle with faith that although you may not yet see how, there is some greater benefit that will eventually manifest and ensure your soul's true progress towards its divine destiny okay so i got destiny's child okay destiny's child okay so for some of you 
Um, that might be uh, focusing on uh, helping your children uh, grow, okay? Let go of trying to figure it all out and instead tune in to what feels true, right? And what feels good in the moment. Feels true for the current choice point before you, right? The segments, right? One step at a time is all that is needed. Let's read. Okay, here's the healing thing. You may wish to play music that resonates with your soul. Oh my gosh, we said that. Okay, for this practice, although this is guided as a dance practice, you can choose to do the practice as a seated visualization if you prefer. Connect to your heart by evoking a feeling of gratitude. Allow your mind and heart to connect in unity. Woo, the world card. Okay. Uh, heart to connect in unity with appreciation for what you love. Imagine offering that love to earth and all her precious creatures. Cultivate a sense of goodwill, of spiritual friendship and encouragement as your offering to all of life. Let your visioning be a prayer of blessing for all beings to find happiness, freedom, and peace. Then share that love with the spiritual dimensions. Feel a sense of gratitude, humbleness, respect, and love for the spiritual worlds. Make an energy offering from your heart of love and gratitude. Imagine or intend that it is being released to, to the spiritual dimensions. Sense a spiritual gate being opened and glorious realm of divine light, wisdom, and power rolling in endless clouds of radiance beyond that gate. You can see a sense, sense or feel a sacred intersection between that spiritual dimension and your human experience in this earthly dimension. You sense that you belong both here in Earth Mother's realm and yet you also belong to the spiritual dimension. Ground these two realms of belonging with love in your heart. Then say, Through divine grace and mercy and wisdom, I enter the multidimensional dance of my being, guided by the Holy Ones. For the spiritual benefit of all beings, I acknowledge the threshold of conscious evolution before me now. All right, let's leave it there. You did get the unity card, the world card, and there was a door, there was a card where there was like, a, a door and a gate and the infinity symbol on top of it wherever that was that was on the first reading okay all right so let's get romance and love card because i feel like that's um it, where you i feel like you're very romantic okay right path love is beautiful journey love is a beautiful journey and you're on the right path celebrate that's what i was getting like four wands okay today celebrate the love you share with those that matter the most okay let's get one more oh my gosh a whole bunch came out okay let's get this trust guard your heart not uh everyone deserves your trust okay I feel like that is like for the friend of the friend. Okay. All right. Together, find joy in the simple pleasures of just being together. Okay. So that's what I feel like if you're not together. That's, the, that's what I feel like your heart is desiring. I'm trying to... Focus it. Well, okay, and
and the other one is spark. Keep the sparks flying. There we go. Sorry. Okay, so keep up, keep the sparks flying. Surprise each other with gestures of love. Okay, so I feel like it's asking you to be the initiator. Okay. Find joy in the simple pleasures of just being together. All right, I leave you with that, Virgo Pisces. Thank you.